I saw this on Twitter. A community leader, broadcaster, advocate, and mom for over 30 years, Marcy Ian has been a champion for a better and more inclusive Canada, and we're excited to welcome her as our new Liberal candidate for Toronto Centre. You know, she's not really those things. For years, she was a newsreader on CTV Newsnet. Not really a reporter. For years, she just read the teleprompter, words that were written for her by producers. I know this because I was lucky enough to be on her show, I don't know, a dozen times. As a pundit, we're talking 20 years ago now. Hey, no problem. It's an honest living. And uh, she was very nice to me. I have no beef with her. Um, then she joined CTV's Gossip Show, a low-budget Canadian knockoff of The View uh, called The Social. Couldn't be more transparent a copy. Uh, it's just what it sounds like. Catty women disparaging each other. You might recall, recall that whole place descending into a cat fight with them accusing each other of not being woke enough. They all condemned Jessica Mulrooney, Meghan Markle's friend, of not being pro-black enough. And uh, they canceled her one day. Here's Marcy Ian joining in that cancel culture mob. Jessica Mulrooney's white privilege caused Sasha Exeter pain and has wide-ranging ripple effects. And then she quotes uh, someone named Lainey Gossip. Now, I think that's weird that Marcian would stand by some gossip named Lainey Louie, that's her name, and stab in the back her friend Jessica Mulrooney, uh, because here's the kind of anti-black misogynist crud that Lainey Louie publishes. Like, this is really rough anti-black stuff here. I'm just going to read the words. Sorry, I didn't write them, but I'll read them to you. Ghetto tits, ghetto weave, ghetto belt, ghetto color combination. I'm sorry, I, I, I shouldn't have even read her language, but that's the CTV star saying this. I'm showing you what she said. So Marcy Ian is totally cool with that anti-black misogynistic racism, I guess. But look, don't overthink this. Marcy Ian probably doesn't like that talk. She's just doing what the woke mob says, whatever her bosses at CTV said. She's fine with anti-black racism from her TV co-host because CTV told her to be fine with it. Here she is posing deadly serious with Black Lives Matter gear. I get it. She's black. She wants to represent. I'm fine with that. I don't believe Marcy Ian actually knows anything about the Black Lives Matter organization itself. It's anti-Semitism. They, they hate Jews. It's it's Marxism. They really do promote communism. It's just another brand for her to support, though, if it's okay with her white bosses at CTV. All of this is perfect training for running as a candidate for Justin Trudeau, now that I think about it. I mean, imagine running for Trudeau and the Liberal Party in 2020. <laughs> I mean, in 2015, I get it. Trudeau was fresh, new, untainted. This was before the groping fiasco. I've been reflecting very carefully on what I remember from that incident almost 20 years ago. Uh, and again, I am, I feel, I am confident that I uh, did not act inappropriately. But part of this awakening that we're having as a society, a long awaited uh, realization, is that it's not just uh, one side of the story that matters. That the same interactions could be experienced very differently um, from one person to the next. This was before the blackface fiasco. This was before he came out full forked tongue liar on indigenous matters. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. People in Rocky Narrows are suffering from mercury poisoning. You Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much for your donation tonight. I really appreciate the uh, donation to the Liberal Party of Canada. This was before he sacked a whole binder full of women of color, including Josie, Jody Wilson-Raybould and a black woman from Toronto named Selena Cesar Chavan. Run for Trudeau in 2015? I get it. Very exciting. But in 2020? Yeah. <laughs> you really do have low standards to do that. 
That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.